Okay, different project today. Um, I'm going to go through making a little Easter thing, which is not too far away. And what we're going to do out of this bit, um, we're going to make like a little box, and it's going to be an egg. So an, in the shape of an egg, and it'll be a box. An egg box. Possibly the wrong bit of wood to use. It's pr it's probably still green in there. It'd be too wet, and it would probably warp. But like always, I just want to show you the process, and it's going to be very similar process really to the box um, I've done in a previous um, tutorial. We're also going to draw like a little base for it, so like a little egg cup for it. Um, so we're going to make the little egg, which is going to sit in a little egg cup. And if we've got time, that's going to go on like a little platter. Now the wooden box, that's that could hold like a gift for somebody, obviously. But the actual little cup and the plate, uh, they could actually be used um, like with your real egg. Chuck the egg, as one of the bins says. So what I'm going to do, that's on a bit of a knuckle, so I'm going to put that between points, square off one of the ends as good as I can and put a bit of a tenon on it. And then we'll turn it around and, and do the same on the other side and see where we get. Okay? Now, because of the weird shape of it, I'm really digging this point in. I've got quite a bit of tension under there. I don't want to be hit. And I think I might round a bit of this off and then put the tenon on. What am I using? My beast, which could do with a new edge, to be honest. Okay, close as we can. That spins freely. Let's get some of, rid of this, some of this rubbish. Once we get it a bit more round, we'll speed things up. This is uh, quite soft around the edge, of course, this is just a sample. Tighten up. Speed things up a bit. As always, got it in an angle, kind of riding the bevel. Now when I turn, I'm as much looking at that side as I am at this side. And that side, you get a good indication of where your cuts are going.
going to try and throw up this bit a little bit. get into wood uh, which we can uh, make a tenon out of. I think it's good to get a tenon on there. Now, I'd probably use um, like a square carbide to turn a tenon, um, but maybe you don't have that. Uh, you could use your um, skew, which a lot of people do use. Um, I'm going to go for. Uh, this type of parting tool which a lot of people would have uh, in a basic setup so get him set up go above drop down and I'm not going to try and take the full width of that tool So I'm trying to get a bit of a dovetail on here. And that's what I'll do. Now what I'm also going to do is get this down with a cut-off tool as small as I can, as small as I dare. Take a little saw, get established here, take a little bit of pressure off, not too much. Get pressure off. Alright, that's good. So, there's our Dovetail, okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Step center, take him out. I'm going to trail it up and then I'm going to see what we're going to do with this. everything neat and tidy safe
so what we've got, uh, you can see the pith is already yucky. But we'll be alright, I think. Um, so, we're going to do an egg. So, we're going to, whether it's this around or not, that could be the base. And then we'll come up here to have more of a point over there. That's the worst drawn egg I've seen in my life. But anyway, you get the idea. And then we're going to cut it down there. Or maybe a bit lower. Now we're going to do the base last. We're going to turn the head. Now, sort of hold that in the truck to be able to hollow it out. I need another... Um, tenon on here so that's what we'll do and then that can be turned and it can be cut off there maybe so you'll have that bit and then we'll rechuck that and fit the top to that like what we did with the box in the other, other video and then we'll shape this bottom bit and it's going to be egg like of course inside and out so we're not looking for a square base here we're going to go for a curve all right, so let's cut this tenon. Okay, tenon achieved. I'm going to part this off now. I'm going to keep this notion that this is the base. And if I part it off about there, here's the top. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Now, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this parting tool. Let's get you in a bit. not going to go all the way through, just far enough, and then use the saw, why make life hard for yourself, have this fly off all over, there we go, so this is going to be, that's going to be the top, there's the base, let's take him out, And I often like to mark where jaw number one is. So I just put a little arrow and I can put him back there. So let's get the top. Now this, we're going to hollow out and turn into the egg top. Now the top needs to go down to a point up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help myself out and just put a line on there, a little cut line. help 
do a bit of shit now. Now what am I going to use? I'm going to use a gouge. And we're going to get some basic shapes going on here. So I'm going to down here and I'm going to try and do a bit more in there. Getting in here, and we're just by eye uh, trying to get it to look egg like it. Now, final shaping of this will be done when it's on the base. But what I'm going to do now, we don't go too thin there, so it'll just snarl. I'm going to do a bit of hollowing out. Establish ourselves in the middle. The rest is too low. Look, when I come across here, I'm having to move the tool to get to the middle. So we spring this up a bit. So we've got, it's getting to be there, quite a bit of a slip there, so I've took a big chunk out of that, but I'm going to tidy that up. Um, I'm going to go a little bit deeper, it's nice and smooth, but I do need to make it a, a final cut straight in, so that you've got the mortise. Not yet. I think for this little thing that'll be okay. Let's just tidy up this edge. Put straight into there, and again, I'll use this. So that is just to establish a straight edge to go on the base. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that is true.
All we're going to do now is part that off. We don't need to finish it perfectly. Remember where number one was? Ah, stick him in there. See if we can get this tenon to fit. That's not far off there. Not far off, so I'm going to go very carefully. could burnish this in a little bit. I'm holding tight. You see how it's shined that up? Not quite. I need to take a bit off because that recess isn't as big as that recess. So let's see what we're going to do. That will do. So, oopsie, let's line this green up as best we can, I forgot to mark it didn't I? Now you won't get a very good green match because uh, we've cut so much out, but it'll be close-ish. try and do is just smooth it off and then get the tail up.
Just got some shipping going on. Got a short tour. in I'm gonna get the parting tool go a bit further in bring this in and then do a few more shaping cuts and then we've got to hollow out that base I want to know exactly how much this is before I do any real hollowing Pretty good. So a little bit of curved hollowing there. Um, obviously the egg top was on the top there. Use that to turn it round, put it in the back of the chuck to shape that bottom bit. But we're going to put this together and sand it first. Okay, that's okay. Looks quite nice. And we'll put this on. And we've got that nice dark stripe there. Just to help us. Okay, let's sand this. All right, let's turn this round, see if we can't hold it there to finish off the bottom. But once again, I'm actually going to part that off there. Let's see if it will work. Alrighty. 
Now if these jaws aren't, don't go small enough, we'll have to find something else. But I think we're gonna be okay. All right, pretty good. Now let's just get this off. Too bad. What we should have there is an egg which will join together. But if I leave it like that and when I squeeze that together there's a good chance you will not get that apart. So what we're going to do is we'll put a little, I think we might put a little groove in there. So that at least you can get your nail in and put, make a little purchase. And that's it. What do you think? Hmm? I haven't sure it yet because, because I don't know if I'm going to get it apart. <laughs> Anyway, just going to put another little drop polish in there. No. All right. What do you think? And that that will snap shut. <laughs> that will snap shut, and I'll not be able to get it apart. Watch, watch. Oopsies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's going to pop. But there's a little egg, and we're now. Gonna make a stand for it. A bit like that. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> I think it's big enough. And we're gonna Well, I'm gonna cut it off there. Screw mount it, I think. Turn it flat tenon into the chuck and then we'll carve in some sort of egg holder what I want to do here is part of it off Side on. I'm going to drill a hole in there and put a screw chuck in. Need to draw, cut a tenon on this kitchen drawer. We need to cut a, a mortise actually. looks quite nice. I'm going to cut a mortise in here but I'm going to have to change 
I'm going to either change chucks or change jaws, but it's going to be smallish. Okay, so it's slightly dovetailed in there. I uh, got a little base going on. Um, and that's okay. Okay, here's my little trick. Can't get it off. So, that there, that there. And can I do it now? Oh, yes. Wasn't going to come off, tell you. Right, what we're going to do. So there's our little base with our mortise. This is not good. So, what am I going to do? I think, I think, I think I'm going to round this. And I'm going to make it nice and round. Instead of this sort of live look. So let's give that a whirl. sits in there yeah it does absolutely 
Right, we're going to sand this off. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. I think I can get them done. Here we go. Yes. I had a terrible break out there, look. Nightmare. This isn't a gallery piece, is it? So what we have is we have that. And we have that. What do you think? Now what I'd like to do right now is to lift the egg off and open it. But I don't think I can with my bare hands. So here's where I'll probably do a bit of damage. Guys, I want to just crack you open. Little egg. Doesn't want to. I can't get it open, man. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Might have to give that a bit of a... Once over. Okay. Rub. There you go. Little egg. And you can have a little keepsake inside. A present. There's a base on the floor. And I think that's quite cute. What do you see? Lovely markings on there. Shuts like a kinder egg. There you go. So that wasn't the full base I was going to do, like a platter and stuff. But essentially, I think that's all right. Thanks for watching. So Oopsie. Let's line this green up as best we can. I forgot to mark it, didn't I? Now you won't get a very good green match because uh, we've cut so much out, but it'll be close-ish. What I'm going to try and do is just smooth it off and then get the tail up.
going on, get a shot of two left. I'm going to put another cut in there, like I did last time. Oh, I didn't like that. Did not like the sound of that. I didn't. Waiting for that to happen. Always can. But it's okay. We're still alive. What do you think? Hmm? I haven't shot it yet because, because I don't know if I'm going to get it apart. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it comes up lovely. Right. Let's get that off there. Okay. <laughs> I can't get it open, man. 